Hey, what's up guys? It's Graphic Phoenix back with another video today, and today is May 17th, the 17th day of May Madness. Today's video is going to be all about isopods and how to culture them. Now, this is definitely more for a kind of resale-ish style. This isn't exactly how mine are set up, as you can see in this large white box over here. That's where they are standard. So I'll go through how I set up this, and then we'll set up a couple new cultures to start some of these guys in as well. So here we are at my dwarf brown isopod culture. You can see there's a ton of them in this culture. And they are doing very, very well. I actually started this culture last May Madness. And so this is a year old. And you can see basically how I set it up was I had cardboard, there's leaves, and that was basically it. Nothing crazy in there. Uh, it was just cardboard and leaves, and now as you can see, all those cardboard, well most of the cardboard and all the leaves, have been broken down and turned into, uh, I mean, culture. It, it's That's what they do. They recycle. That is basically how I set it up. It's, it's really nothing special. I know that is super vague, but I keep them at about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. They're kept in a 12 quart bin and they're doing really, really well. So I'm not gonna change anything here. They are doing great. I'm gonna keep them in here. I'm gonna add some more cardboard and leaves at a later date, but right now this is what we have. So some of you guys might be wondering what I feed them and I feed them the Arcadia Earth Pro Custodian Fuel. This stuff is a heck of a product. I love it. If you guys haven't picked it up, it is a little bit expensive here in Canada, but it is totally worth your money. This has lasted me almost a full year, and I will be picking more up soon. So if you guys are looking for what to feed them, this is the stuff. You can also feed them other things, like I've tried butternut squash. You can use uh, a lot of different like crustaceans and stuff. I don't really know much about that side of it. I just know I feed this and butternut squash. Now that you guys have seen the parent culture with all the isopods that I'm going to be seeding these new cultures with, in front of you, this is all that you're going to need. I just have some leaf litter. This is just oak leaf. Then we have the 16 ounce containers, just clear plastic lids for them, and then a substrate. Now the substrate I'm using is a mix between coconut husk and plantation soil or coconut core. Uh, that is what I've found works really, really well. You can just use straight coconut husk, and you can use other things like maybe organic topsoil or something. I'm not going to risk bringing in any mites or anything on the topsoil. I'd rather just use the Exoterra and Zoomed products there. So, with that being said, um, there's not much to setting up a culture. I mean, essentially, it's exactly what you guys would think. Let's just make sure. I think I do have, oh yeah, I do have a little bit of the the orchid bark in here as well. Just because I had some sitting in this tray. So we'll mix this up a little bit. And all of you guys, I mean, total side tangent, but all of you guys were wondering why my hands are all scratched up. And the culprit is that little bastard right there. His name's Spike. And uh, he loves to play, so that's why. That answers all the questions. <laughs> Uh, basically what I do is, it's like, this is really super, super simple. Uh, if you guys want more of a care video on how to actually take care of them and breed them well, then I can do that at a later point in time. But you can see here, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to fill up that full. And then I'm just going to rip up some leaves. Or a leaf, I don't need... Don't need a ton of leaves in here. And just as a reminder, the the plantation soil and stuff is already moist. So you don't want to start these up with completely dry cultures. So this is what we end up with. We just end up with some leaves and substrate. It's, it's super easy. I know it's very, very basic for you guys. This is what I'm doing to set up the kind of subcultures that I'm making. Now these can be for sale to friends or anybody that comes over and needs some some isopod cultures. That's what these are going to do. Uh, if I need to seed tanks, I'll also use them from here. And you just saw me throwing in a couple of the Arcadia custodian fuel pellets. That's what they look like right there. Some of you might be thinking, oh, there's no air holes in these lids that you're going to be using. 
and that's true there's going to be enough airflow coming through the sides they don't seal like a hundred percent tight um, if you are very very paranoid you could just poke a very very tiny hole with like a push pin or a sewing pin in this lid a couple holes and that'll be more than enough ventilation for them you also got to keep in mind I'm gonna be feeding these guys on a regular basis so I'll be opening up and flushing it with new air on a regular basis pretty easy to seed another culture just gonna grab I grabbed oh probably 20 or 30 if not more and there we have it it's that easy I, I know it doesn't really make sense like everybody's probably thinking oh it's some sort of witchery but no it's very very basic now keep in mind this culture to to get to a very large production rate is gonna take several several months like probably a year I mean these guys were booming after about six to eight months and now we're a year in and they're going strong so that's just my success with them your your results might vary but uh, that's what I'm going to do to set up these little guys. Actually marking the top of the lid just so I know exactly what's in here and when I started it. That way I can keep track on how they're growing and if they're doing well or not doing so well. It's just a, a thing that I like to do. So with that being said, I know this was a super short video and very basic. Uh, if you guys were expecting something maybe different from a isopod culture video, then definitely let me know. I can set up maybe another master culture for you guys to see how I do that if you would like to see it. So let me know if you would like to see me do a master culture in the comment section down below. I would greatly appreciate that. And coming out right away here will be the springtail culture and uh, the springtail food that I feed mine. So. That will be a good one, and I hope you guys stick around. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you liked the video, drop a like down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, then please leave those in the comment section. If you made it to the end of this video, leave in the comment section the word spike. That way I know you made it to the very end. If you guys, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and tune in tomorrow for another episode of May Madness. I'm having a blast. I think you guys are enjoying it as well, so... What makes you happy makes me happy. Thanks for watching, you guys. Graphic Phoenix, out of here.